This is an instructional video for how to take the four photographs that we need to make your 3D hand. So the first step is to um, find a ruler and to stick that along the edge of a table. Second step is to draw a line with, um, with a pen or a highlighter across the um, both wrists. Um, so that we can understand where the hinge needs to be in the 3D hand. I don't suggest using permanent marker for this. <laughs> so um, what we need for the first photograph is of the affected hand. Uh, to place that along the edge of the table, making sure that the top of the hand is level with the top of the ruler. Um, this is really, really important because if the hand is taken on the table, as you can see, it looks a lot larger than it actually is. And similarly, if it's too low, um, we won't be able to get the correct scale of the hand. So it's really important that we have the top of the hand of the arm at the same height as the ruler. And it's also really important that you take the photograph from directly above um, so that we get the correct scale of the hand. So for the second photo, what we need is for the unaffected hand. Uh, to um, understand the overall length um, of the 3D hand. So similarly, this needs to be at the same level as the ruler and taken from directly above. The third photo that we require is of the affected hand on its side deflecting in the upwards position. So it needs to be, the wrist needs to be moved up as far as it can go. And that will help us to understand the angle of the 3D hand when the fingers are completely open. And then the fourth and final photo is of the wrist bending downwards. So this will understand, help us to understand the angle of the hand when the fingers are closed. So key points are all photographs need to be taken level with the ruler and they need to be taken from directly above. Thank you.